back over next year. Shit. Put the game on the year after that. Then we rolling this shit generation. Don't stop. We gonna keep going till we drop. Get rid of the movement, get rid of the team. You can starve and be a part of the dream. All right, man, what's your name, bro? My name is 66 NATO. You can call me NATO. Follow me on Instagram at 66.NATO, 66NADO. Shit, I'm on um, Apple Music, Spotify, all streaming platforms, 66 NATO. Word, word. Hey, man, so where you coming from? Shit, the west side of Atlanta, really. Hey, you grew up there? You grew up there? Nah, see, I grew up in Cobb, but I was like moving around. I was on Kempton Road for some of my childhood. I was on goddamn um, flat shows, so it was really just like moving around. But I settled down on the west side at the beginning of my ninth grade year, and this shit really like raised me, you feel me? So it's like I learned a lot and how to maneuver in the real world from goddamn situations over here. But I was never no goddamn dumbass kid. Like, I couldn't catch on. I always knew what it was and what it was, you feel me? Word, word. So you feel like growing up, it was, you had to be kind of smart with it and just grow up faster than a regular person would. Yeah, because slip, like, I seen, I seen a lot of the, like, stuff that I wanted when I became older, when I was young. Like, I seen how I was supposed to be living as opposed to how, how I was living back then and how other folks was living, and I knew I could do the same and put my spin on it, you feel me? So it's really like what I wanted and what I wanted for everybody else. All right, all right, I understand that, I understand that. All right, man, so like, at what age did you get into making music? Really? I said my eighth grade year, and I wasn't even, it was like my folks was putting me on so much music because I had, my partners was from all over the place, so I was listening to every aspect of music. And, and me, I was smoking before they was smoking, so I was getting high. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> like this shit, shit, you feel me? The beat slap, got down the way these niggas rapping slap, and I'm like, man, let me goddamn start rapping, you feel me? I'm like, I like how this shit sound. I know I can put a spin on it. I know I can make that bitch hit. And I could always freestyle too. So it was like, we'd be at the lunch table, niggas freestyling, I'd hop in that bitch, and niggas like, oh, he rapping. Like, man, I don't rap though, you feel me? Word, word. So then, when did you start taking it seriously? Mm, seriously, really last year. I ain't gonna lie. Cause, I was, I was, I always had a job or I always had a source of income, so I would never really got down too much worried about it. Rapping was always like a hobby. So it's like really like, I, I just got serious with this shit. When I, when I was like freestyling one day and my brother coming in the room, he like, you hard as hell. You feel me? And there's really been people telling me I'm hard like all the time. So it's like, that shit just pushed me. And, and, and really the support. Support be meaning a lot, the support be pushing me. And also with me goddamn wanting to be bigger than what I am or bigger than what I know I can be. So everything really just fuel me. Worry, worry. So how important is it to have that support behind you? Do you feel like? Shit, I feel like it's really important. Because as long as you ain't on no hate and shit, as long as you support me, I'm gonna support you. It's like that. Um, if you fam, I'm gonna support you to the end. You be wrong like a motherfucker, I'm gonna support you. Word. You feel me? Word, support me. Right or wrong, right or wrong, but that's how it goes. So, man, do you remember your first song recorded? Um. Yeah, no. I know that bitch probably on SoundCloud, but I'll release some of my goddamn first, first recorded songs on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Alright man, all right. do you remember how it was in your first sesh, first real studio session? Yeah, yeah. 
it was my birthday and it was like I was I was self conscious and we rapping around the people so goddamn it was like it was a small ass studio. Had to be ten or eleven folks in the studio and that's a lot for a small ass studio. We all smoking this bitch passed out. Shit, I'm a little bit faded, I ain't gonna lie. But I get in the goddamn booth and, and it's a glass window so I can see everybody looking at me. But I ain't looking at them. I'm goddamn looking at the mic. I'm looking at them out the corner of my eye type shit. Oh, they waiting on me to say some hard shit. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm like, bro, I kind of, I, I, I folded for a second, but, but I still got them spit something on that bit, and I was, that was um, one of them songs is on my SoundCloud, bro. I'm like, that shit gonna be in the link. My sound's not gonna be in the link, and y'all gonna hear, got them the first song that I'm talking about, but. I got them folded, but I got them came back to my senses and just hopped on the beat. And it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Word, man, word. So describe your music, bro. What type of sense does your music give us? I say a sense of, sense of realness and a, and a sense of urgency, but Urgency is based on how you withhold yourself, bro. Because if you know you're capable of something and you feel like you ain't, I'm going to tell you and you going to hear me tell you you can do that shit and, and it ain't no obstacle big enough. Like, you're going to hear me talk about the obstacles I overcame in my music. So it, it's really like you you got it no matter what, bro. Word. Just keep going. Word, man, word. So then... What is your driving motivation to you to keep recording, keep doing this? I want to make this shit go, bro. I want to, like, get rid of this trying. Get trying. I'm going to get rid of it before I die trying. You feel me? So I really just want to buy my mom a crib. I want to see everybody in my family happy. I want to be that person they call when they need something. Now, I've seen the phrase, get rich trying before. Is that like a clothing brand? That's the movement. That's the movement. Because you got to get rich trying. That's my partner, Vic. You feel me? My brother, really. You feel me? Since Sandbox. Vic, get rich trying. Yeah. Like, my boy, he Brazilian, bro. That's one thing about him. Yeah. Like some people get themselves the chance to fail. <laughs> bro, don't give himself no chance. He don't go for that. <laughs> nah, he don't go for that. That's my cousin, bro. He be, <laughs> he be on his shit, bro. He's on his shit. Bro, <laughs> don't give himself no chance to fail, bro. I love him like my blood. <laughs> All right, man. How yeah. far y'all go back, man? Man, we go so far back, bro. I'm going to say, I'm going to say six grade, bro. I'm going to say six. Middle school, bro. But it, it, it's really like we, we saw each other and we clicked like that. <laughs> I can't even bow. We was in goddamn gym class. And we had these stretches we were doing groups. And and you chose the groups. It was me, Vic, and Stone. I remember this shit. And we had this shit where we had switched shoes. And we, I forgot what shoes we had on, but we all switched. You feel me? All the day type shit. It was just like that, bro. We clicked like that's my blood. Alright, man. Word, bro. Word. Alright, thanks. Here you go, man. Alright. So, explain the name 66 NATO. Shit, the 66 really came from. Um, I had 666 Instagram followers. And um, I was looking at some shit, bro. But they were spinning like a tornado. And, and that shit had reminded me of something me and bro did. And we were spinning. So I just took the tore off the tornado. And shit made a nail. Word. Word, man. No doubt. Kind of rolls, bro. I fuck with it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. 
All right, man. Who's someone that you want to meet through your music? Ooh, see, I I don't know. I already met the one person I wanted to meet. I say, I met um Hancho. Hancho. Yeah, Hancho. He an Atlanta artist. Um, he really up and coming. I don't know, cause bro been, bro been going stupid, so I wouldn't even say he like ain't coming. So he kind of like going up right now, bro skyrocketing. So he he was one of my my big influences with this shit. But it's a lot of people that I recently just got put onto that I also fuck with and would like to meet. Right. Goddamn, Mancho was one of my biggest influences influences with this shit, and I'm not really met him. So I ain't got no choice but to go harder, and I feel like it. it that shit, that's the thing, you feel me? Word, man, word. So then, who is someone that you would work with? You trying to make music with? Um, K.O. Banks. K.O. Banks or Jace. Word, word. Two um, underground artists. Um, yeah. That's cool, man, that's cool. So then, how often do you try to record and push it out? Um, see, when I get in, I be having a lot of shit on my mind. So even when I get in, say I go to one session, it's like four or five songs. So I really don't need to do nothing after like two or three sessions a month. So it's just kind of, if I try to go once every two weeks or twice every week, just to goddamn build up the arsenal type shit. Hell, man. Chill, bro. But that's cool, man. That's cool. When it comes to recording, what type of mood do you got to be in? Um, shit, I could really be in me. I ain't gonna lie. Um, some of my best, best shit, them being when I was goddamn geek, geek, geek. Like, I'm talking about feeling good and shit. I'm talking about money, right? Um, but some of my, some of my most really shit, and then when I done been angry and shit, but I'm talking about mad as shit, shit going right. I'm just, you feel me, happy to be alive, so I'm gonna talk some shit. Alright, alright. That's cool, that's cool, bro. Man, when it comes to recording, like, what be going through your mind during these sessions, like, what just be happening? Because you be saying crazy shit in your music, what just be flowing? <laughs> Um, shit, at first, first I really, like, look at what I got on, and I'd be like, man, I'm in the mood to pop some shit, you feel me? Then I'd be like, man, <laughs> you feel me? i start shaking my head, then a beat gets playing, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm in that mood. So it really just gotta be like, you gotta have that shit, you really can't even... I don't know how to describe it, but you're going to feel that shit once that beat get to play. All right, all right. Now, do you ever have, like, stagnant moments when you want to record? Yeah, how, yeah. Do you, how do you overcome it? Um, see, I be, when I, when I got down get stuck, or I be doing some shit throughout the day, I have a hook or a goddamn verse come in my head, and I just bop off that shit. So whenever I get stuck, the hook or the goddamn verse that I have written down in my notes, a goddamn fit perfect onto the beat. So all I gotta do is scroll down. So it's really like I don't even get stuck. I just goddamn fill some shit in until my mind get to move again. All right, man. I feel that, man. I feel that. So then, when the first check, when the when the rap checks start coming in, bro, what's gonna be one of your first investments? First, I'm gonna get my mom in crib. That's first. Second, I'm gonna got down. I'm gonna buy like a couple of acres. And I didn't talk to my folks about this shit too. I'm gonna got down like like close friends and shit. I'm gonna get a goddamn whole lot of cribs on that bitch. Everybody gonna come stay on my shit. I'm talking about rent free, bro. Like my shit gonna be. Everybody might have their own source of income, bro. That shit be hard. 
part, man. That's word, bro. That's word, bro. What's something that you want to see, like, that you feel like you and your folks want to push for in the future, y'all goals that y'all want to just prove on? If you wanted to send a message out to them, be like, yo, we got to do this. We gotta, we gotta get our own island. <laughs> get rich Topia. <laughs> get rich Topia. Ain't gonna lie. Nah, but other than that, bro, we, we gotta, shit, we just wanna take over, bro. Marketing, goddamn global trades, all types of shit, bro. It's gonna be so much shit, but then it's gonna, it's gonna take off, bro. Word, word, man. Now, do you find networking an easy job for you? Um, because yeah, yeah. it's like easy for other people to approach me but I'm not really like a social person unless folks talk to me so it's like once folks get it going it's, it's like that it's easy kind of oh yeah man that's cool that's cool man. so then now then how do you expect shit to change one stuff fame or the tension starts rolling in, do you feel like you're gonna have to start moving differently? Yeah. Um but shit, as it is now I'm really not even no like flashy type nigga. I'm really out the way, goddamn make my bread type of anything. And it's really like I do what I do and get to the crib. Cause I know you only get one life. I'm damn sure not taking this shit for granted. And I'll be down and let somebody take my life away from me. So, yeah, I'm a little safe out here. Right. Right, man, right. Now, what do you have to say for other artists trying to create, do their thing? What should I stick to? What's up, word of advice you don't want to give me? You just got to stay consistent. Even when you, if you feel like this shit ain't for you, you still got to stay consistent. Because... Like the most biggest artists, when they feel like they they been flopped or feel like they ain't making shit, they drop off. They get in the studio, they stay in the studio. Just do it for make you feel good. You feel me? It's, it's, it's all on you. You can't tell nobody else what to do. You got to do what feel right to you. That's true, bro. That's true. No matter what, up days and down days, man. Now, do you consider recording, do what you do, a full-time job? Um, no, not even. It's, it's kind of like a, it's something that made me happy. It's like a, like a heart filler, bro. Okay. Music, music, I love music. Music made me happy. All right. So, so that's right. It's not even like a, like a job. Just like doing something I love. Alright, man. That's cool, bro. That's cool, man. What do you want to see yourself in five years? You'll feel different when you see how you can support them, and when they rise, that kind of reflects back on you and what you're doing. Okay. No, nah, man, it's not. Nah, uh, now then, is there anything you would tell yourself in the past when it came to doing music or just living in general? Right, bro. That's right. 
fucking last year or two. That shit was holding a nigga back. Priorities fucked up and all that. Now, man, looking forward, but now, nah, man, go with some last messages, some last things you want to tell us, bro. Words of inspiration, man. Something y'all just tell your folks, some shout outs. Mm -hmm. Shit, you really gonna be up and not too long, bro. With this shit, you know, you gotta stay consistent, you gotta stay resilient, you just gotta keep going, keep your head up, keep pushing, and stay in the stool. Um, I really know who all my cousins is, so don't nobody try that fuck shit when I blow up. But other than that, bro, shout out my mom. Shout out my bro, Vic. You already know what the game is. Big Gary's trying. Um, shit. Shit, shit actually, shit. one last question. What, what, what do you have anticipated for us? What's coming out soon, bro? Man, I got some crazy shit coming out. Got some shit dropping on my birthday on Monday. Um, probably drop a little EP, a little three three P shit for y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I want to drop no video today. I want to goddamn get a show going, get a couple of shows going, and then do a video. But other than that, I'm gonna have a goddamn studio vlog coming for y'all probably Tuesday after after Monday man. so so y'all be on the lookout for that. And it's probably gonna be on my page or the or the Get Rich Trying page. So y'all just look out. Good <laughs> bye. Sure.